Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will do sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. So we have here the two formula na magamit natin in finding the sum of the roots and product of the roots. We have here negative b over a for the sum and, neg and c over a for the product of the roots. And I will explain bakit importante na makuha natin or malaman natin kung paano ba hanapin yung sum and product of the roots. So without further ado, let's start doing this kind of topic. Now basically, I have here item number one. What is the sum and product of the roots of x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0? So I will explain bakit ba natin kailangan gamitin or Ano ba yung purpose ng mga formula na to? So, sabi kasi dyan, sum of the roots and product of the roots. Meaning, before natin makuha yung sum and product of the roots, kailangan muna natin masolve or makuha yung value ng variable because those are the roots of a quadratic equation. Okay? So, let me explain further kung bakit ba kailangan yung gantong mga formula. Let's say, for example, I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. For you to find the sum and product, kailangan mo munang mahanap or masolve yung quadratic equation. So basically, you will go with factoring. So if we're going to factor out this equation, meron kang x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? Those are the factors. And then solving for the value of x, you have x minus 3 is equal to 0, and then the other one is x minus 2 is equal to 0. So after this, you need to solve for x. Your x is equal to 3, and then your x is equal to 2. These are the roots of the quadratic equation. Pag sinabi natin sum, you need to add 3 and 2, meaning the sum is equal to 5. Okay? Yun yung sum ng roots natin. Because x is equal to 3, and x is equal to 2. Yes, sir, how about the product? To find the product, you need to multiply the two values of x. You have 3 times 2, which is 6. This is the product of the roots. So, ano yung pinaka-importance ng topic na to? Remember, Hindi lahat ng equation ay factorable. Hindi rin lahat ng equation ay ganun kadaling ma-solve. So, ibig sabihin ba, before mamahanap yung sum and product of the roots, you need to undergo extracting the roots, factoring, completing the square, and solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula? Hindi na. Gamit itong mga formula na to, we can easily find the sum and product of the roots. So let me show you the way on how to do it. So let's use this part of the of the board na meron tayo. Using the formula or the equation x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Ang unang step is secure mo muna ng iyong equation ay nasa standard form which is a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And then, bakit ba importante na naka-standard form? Because you need to identify the value of a, b, and c. Again, kailangan ma-secure mo muna na yung equation natin ay naka-standard form. So here, in this equation, we're lucky because the equation is already in standard form. Your a is equal to 1, yung coefficient ng ating quadratic term. Your b, this one, is negative 5. Your c is equal to 6. After identifying the value of a, b, and c, you can use this formula. For the sum of the roots, you will be using negative b over a. Substitute mo lang, that is equivalent to negative, 
and look at the value of your B, ipalit mo lang dito, it will become times negative 5. Again, bakit naging ganyan? Because you still, uh, you already have negative, and yung value ng B mo is already a negative number. Okay? So you have negative times negative 5 over the value of your A, which is 1. So simplifying this, it will give you negative, sorry, negative times negative is positive, so you have 5 over 1, or simply, yung sum mo is equal to 5. As you can see, pag kinumpare natin, sa pag solve ng ating equation, kanina, the sum of the roots is equal to 5 also. Therefore, the answer is correct. Okay? Next, how about the product of the roots? Product tayo. Using the formula, C over A, ang C natin is equal to 6. So, gagawin mo tong 6 over your A, which is 1. Meaning, yung product natin is 6. At compare natin, look at this answer, they are the same. Okay? So, instead of solving the quadratic equation and adding and multiplying the values of x, you can simply use these formulas. Okay? So, let's move on with the next example. And I hope, sa ating first example pa lang, naintindihan nyo na yung concept of sum and product of the roots. So, let's have example number 2. We have here, find the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, as you can see, the equation is already in standard form. 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. Next thing na kailangan mong gawin is to identify the value of a. This is 2. Okay? Your b is also 2. Your c is equal to negative 12. So, after identifying the values of a, b, and c, gamitin mo na yung formula natin. Sum is equal to negative b over a. Substitute natin yung value ng x ng b natin dito. So, you have negative, your b is positive, so ilagay mo dito 2 over your a, which is 2. And then simplifying this fraction, the sum of the roots is equal to negative 1. Because negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. That's it. Ganun ang kadali. So let's move on to the product of the roots. Your formula is C over A. The value of C is negative 12. So you will be writing here, negative 12 over the value of A which is 2. So, lagay natin dito, 2. And simplifying that fraction, the product of the roots is negative 6. This is the product of the roots given the equation 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, I hope na sa first and second example natin, na master nyo na yung paghahanap ng sum and product of the roots. So I have here three examples or three item activity na kung saan I will be requesting for you to answer this para ma-play mo agad kung ano yung natutunan mo sa ating tutorial video. Again, hintayin ko ang comment mo kung ano sagot mo in finding the sum and product of the roots of the following quadratic equations. So kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. At huwag mo na rin kalimutang i-hit yung bell button. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!